Assalamu alaikum I hope you all are doing well If you are new to my channel then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of all my videos related to jobs scholarships fellowships internships and technical tips and tricks and also about free courses let's get started in this video i will tell you another free hosting service on which you can host static websites for your portfolio same like netlify and versal the name of this another free hosting service is surge surge has been built from the ground up for native web applications and is committed to being the best way for front end developers to put html5 applications into production you can deploy something anything right now for free on surge.sh surge is a simple single command web publishing platform you can publish html css and javascript files for free without leaving the command line which means if you are editing your files on vs code editor or any other editor you can open up the terminal and you just have to write the command from that terminal and your site will be deployed on search.sh some of the benefits of deploying and hosting website on search.sh are number 1 there is a free custom domain name support number 2 free ssl for search.sh which means your site will be secured and it will be deployed over https same like netlify and versal search.sh creates custom 404.html pages itself for the website there is also a barrier free deployment through the cli easy integration into your grunt tool chain cross origin resource support and much more so to deploy on search.sh you just have to verify two things that if the node js has installed on your computer or not and also npm installed on your computer or not for this to check you just have to open the command prompt and you just have to write node dash v which means if there is a node version installed on your computer or pc you will have the version of that node version and if there is not node installed on your computer then it will say node command not found as internal or external command which means you have to install node js on your computer and one thing more if you installed node js on your computer npm comes within the node js which means you don't have to install npm separately instead it comes up with the node js so let me check if node js version is installed or not if node is installed on your computer which it is saying now that version 14.17.6 is is installed you can also verify that npm will be also installed on your computer so for that you just have to write npm v command on your terminal now you can see npm is installed on our computer with the version of 6.14.15 so now we can deploy our sites on search.sh without any problem if you don't have installed node js on your pc or computer just go over nodejs.org website and just install this recommended version of node js on your pc after downloading it you just have to follow the steps to set up this node js on your computer node js is basically a javascript runtime built on chrome's v8 javascript engine which means you can run javascript outside the browser on your pc if you have installed node js on your pc now i am in the vs code editor where i have a portfolio template which i have deployed on netlify in the previous video If you want to deploy and host your websites on Netlify for free then you can watch my previous video 
and the link is in the description below. So now to deploy a website on Surge, you have to install Surge CLI on your PC. For this, just open up the terminal and write the command npm install dash dash global surge. This command will install search CLI on globally on your computer. So after that, you can deploy websites on search.sh by using the search CLI. So after installing it, come back to your root folder of your portfolio template which you want to deploy on the search.sh. So now in the VS Code editor, just open up the terminal and then just write search and then press enter. So after that, it will show a message, welcome to search. Login or create search account by entering email and password. So if you already have an account, then just log in with your own credentials. And if you don't have an account, you have to just sign up by entering the email and password. And after that, your account will be created automatically. So now I don't have an account. So I have to just write email and password and it will create an account for me. Keep this in mind. When you will be writing the password, it will not show up the dots or even anything. Instead, you just have to write password and press enter. The password will be submitted to the search.sh. Which means you don't have to worry about if the password is being written or not. So after that, you will have to specify the project directory which you want to deploy on search.sh. So I want to deploy this root directory. So I have to press enter. After that, it is asking about domain name. It is suggesting you a default random domain name. But if you want to change this domain name, you can customize it on your own. So now I am changing this default random domain name to my own domain name. So I have to write Rehan Halil portfolio. But keep this in your mind, you have to write dot search dot sh at the end of any domain name if you want to deploy your website on search dot sh for free but if you have your own domain name like you have your domain name dot com your domain name dot pk anything then you can also add your own custom domain name so after writing the domain name you just have to press enter after that it will start uploading the site files to the search.sh and after some time your site will be hosted on your own defined domain name and you can check that later so just wait for the site to be uploaded on search.sh after that it will say a message success message that published to your own domain name you can check this domain name by putting this address on any browser that if the site is uploaded or not. Let me just give you an overview of this. So now you can see the site is deployed and hosted on search.sh with my own defined domain name and site is hosted over HTTPS which means site is secured. You can deploy and host front-end websites as many as you want for your portfolio on search.sh. So you will be thinking what we have to do if we want to deploy and host an updated website on the same domain name. So for this, there are two ways to deploy website, updated website on your domain name. For that, let me just change the file index.html from, let me just change hero section. And I am changing Rehan Halil from Rehan developer. After changing, you just have to open the terminal again and just write search dash dash domain and the domain name on which you want to redeploy your site. So I have deployed already on Rehan Halil portfolio dot search dot sh. So I want to deploy this updated website on the same domain name. So I have to specify that specific domain name again on my command. So this is one way to deploy your updated site on your domain name. 
but for this you have to remember the domain name on which you want to redeploy your updated site you have to follow the same steps to redeploy your updated site on your domain name so just press enter and site will be uploading on the specific domain name again with the updated data after some time you will see a success message which is published to rehan halil portfolio dot search dot sh so just go back to your website and you just have to refresh your page as i have refreshed my page and the name rehan halil is changed from rehan developer which means our updated site is deployed and hosted again on search dot sh but point to be noted you have to remember the domain name of your site to redeploy your updated site by using search dash dash domain and your domain name this command i am telling you another method another way to redeploy your updated site on search dot sh if you don't want to type or write domain name again and again to push your updated site on search dot sh for this you have to create a file with the name of c name and all alphabets must be capitalized so let me just create c name file in the root folder of this project after creating c name file you just have to write the domain name on which you have already deployed your website using search cli so as i have already deployed my website on rehan halil portfolio dot search dot sh so i have to just write rehan halil portfolio dot search dot sh in the file c name after writing that just close this file and let me just change the name rehan developer from rehan halil again and let me just push this updated site on search dot sh again but now i don't have to write search dash dash domain and domain name instead i just have to write search and press enter your site will be hosted and deployed again with the updated data so now you have to just write search on your terminal and it will automatically detect the c name file on your root folder and it will automatically detect the domain name that is specified in the c name file so you don't have to write domain name again and again to deploy the updated site on search.sh so i think this is the best way which means you just have to change your code you just have to update your code and you just have to write search on your terminal and then press enter your updated site will be deployed on search.sh without any problem so you don't have to specify write or mention your domain name on your command in the terminal so now when i press search and then press enter it will start again uploading your site files with the updated data so after some time it will again show a success message that your site is published to rehan halil portfolio dot search dot sh so after this just go to your browser and just refresh the page now you will see the name rehan developer is again changed from rehan halil but now we have just deployed our updated site by using only search command there are also other free platforms on which you can host your websites for free for static websites to be hosted on free platforms you have netlify versal search.sh and firebase etc and if you want to deploy full stack web applications for free then there is a platform which is called heroku on that platform you can deploy your full stack web applications with a specific backend so i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos related to scholarships jobs internships free courses and technical tips and tricks i will see you in the next one thanks for watching allah hafiz